normal operation of the winch. Now we're ready to go up and down. And Start by lowering our sawmill head all the way down, get the cable out nice and loose, keeping tension so that you don't unspool your bale. Take your vice grips and clamp your cable right here. And now you can loosen your bale all the way up, cable all the way out, until you can get to this knot that holds the cable in. 7 8 wrench and a 6 millimeter Allen key. 6 millimeter Allen key goes inside. Wrench, you just take the nut off. Loosen the nut, pull your cable out. Good to go. Set that aside. Move on to removing your winch. 9 16 socket wrench. Come in from the back side is the easier way. Your winch is going to want to drop down. We'll be ready to catch that. This is our power lift upgrade kit for Oscar 330. Basically two pieces. Comes with the manual for the winch. Bolts should come in your winch already for mounting your new winch. Mount it so that your terminals face the outside of the mill. You're going to want it all the way up to the top, or at least as close to the top as you can get it. That was awesome. Now we're just going to remove our existing push handle. Half inch wrench, half inch socket. Put your bolts in. Half inch wrench, half inch socket. Take the clamp off. All right, now we're gonna mount our solenoid box onto our plate we just put on. Before doing this, we want to make sure we turn off our battery switch. Solenoid box comes with two quarter inch bolts with nuts and washers on them. Those bolts should line right up with the holes on your plate. Inside your solenoid box, it's easier to open this if you push right here. Pops open real easy. There are the tops of the two bolts that you just put in. Nut driver is probably your best bet to get down in the solenoid box, but a deep ball socket will also work. This side over here has a couple wires covering your bolt, so go ahead and pull them right up and out of the way. Put it back down in. 
then move on to mounting your push handle. Push handle is going to go in the same spot that your old one was in. This is 5 16 bolt with a half inch nut. So with that, you just pull your wires up, color coded the mats, yellow, blue. This is a 10 millimeter nut. When I do this, I try to separate the wires from the bolt on the winch so they're not rubbing. Tighten one down, push the other one away. Okay, so your wires that come out of the other side, your battery wires, power, power wire is going to come up to your battery, positive battery terminal. That's the 7 16 And your negative is going to hook to the same part of the switch that your ground for your motor's on. That is 11 sixteenths. These come with dielectric grease on them. Wouldn't be a bad idea to wipe it off before you get into all this, but. All right, so our wiring's all complete. We got our tail end of our cable. We have a winch. Right here is not quite lined up where you want it. That's the hole you're gonna put your cable in. So now you can turn your battery switch back on. And you can hit your switch up or down to get wherever you need your set screw right here. It helps to have this hole pretty much straight up and down and you can get to the set screw with your LP really good right there. So that set screw most of the time is an eighth inch set screw. This one fits an eighth inch. If it doesn't, you will go to a three millimeter Allen key. Real simple, put your wire down through. Try not to stick it out of the bottom side because it will interfere with the cable when it wraps around the bell. Don't have to be super tight, but you definitely don't want it too loose. So you got that. Now you'll hit up on your switch, kind of keep the cable a little tight. Don't let the cable overlap itself, kind of keep it uniform. Take off your vice grips that are holding your cable. Keep tension on everything. Put it in your pulley. Up real easy. Try to keep that over. Now when you do all this, your cables up on your left valve might slide over. You always want to make sure that those are always pushed over against the nuts on both sides. Nice and even. Bump it up. Everything's tight and you're good to go. If you have it or can get your hands on it, good idea to put some dielectric grease on these terminals. Prevent corrosion and stuff like that. Keep the water off it, all that good stuff. Now we're ready to go up and down and 